David Dave Hockaday is an English former professional footballer who was most recently the head coach of Leeds United. A former professional footballer, Hockaday played for Blackpool, Hull City, Shrewsbury Town, Stoke City and Swindon Town. As a right back. After his playing career ended he helped establish a football academy at Sirencester, as well as spending time as first team coach at Watford and as youth team coach at Southampton. He also spent four years as manager of conference premier side Forest Green Rovers. In June 2014, Hockaday became the new head coach of Leeds United. On August 28, 2014, his contract was terminated by the owner of Leeds United. Playing career, Blackpool, Hockaday was born in Sedgefield, County Durham. He started his career as a youth player with Billingham Sinfonia. In June 1975, Aged 17, he joined Blackpool, then playing in the second division. He made his first start for the Tangerines on September 25, 1976, in a 1-0-0 a home loss to Chelsea. Aside from a League Cup second-round tie against Sheffield Wednesday, he sat out the entire 1977 a 78 campaign, but the following season he became a more regular first-team player as Blackpool slid down the leagues. He scored his first goal for the club in a 3 Euro 1 loss at Colchester United on September 30, 1978, and, later that season, scored both goals in Blackpool's 2 Euro 1 victory at Lincoln City. Also on September 30, this time in 1981, Hockaday was amongst the scorers in Blackpool's 7 Euro 1 rout of Halifax Town at Bloomfield Road. In his final season in Lancashire, he made 40 league appearances and scored eight goals, but was unable to prevent Blackpool from finishing fourth from bottom and needing to seek re-election. In his eight seasons at Blackpool he made over 190 first-team appearances, scoring 27 goals. Swindon Town, in June 1983, he moved on a free transfer to fellow fourth division side Swindon Town. He was a solid, dependable right back and was part of the team managed by Lou McCary that gained the fourth division championship in the 1985 Euro 86 season, following this with promotion to Division 2 in 1986 Euro 87. In 1988 Euro 89 Swindon reached the second division playoffs but failed in their attempt to gain promotion to the top flight. In 1989 Euro 90 Swindon won the second division playoff final but Sunderland were promoted instead after the Swindon board admitted a series of financial irregularities. Swindon were initially demoted to the third division and replaced by Tramair Rovers, the division's losing playoff finalists, but this decision was later reversed on appeal. In September 1990, Hockaday moved to Hull City for a fee of a £50,000 having made 308 appearances for Swindon, with 11 goals. Later career, at Hull City he was part of the side which suffered relegation from the second division at the end of the 1990 Euro 91 season. He played 15 times for Hull the following season and spent the end of that 1992 Euro 93 campaign on loan at Stoke City where he played seven times helping the Potters win the second division title. After a third season at Hull he moved on to Shrewsbury Town. He was a member of the Shrewsbury team who won the third division title at the end of his first season, before he dropped out of league football, moving to Sirencester Town in 1995. Coaching career, in 1996 he established one of the first football academies in the country at Sirencester, following the Thorpe Arch model that Howard Wilkinson started at Leeds United in 1994. The Sirencester Football Academy was created in conjunction with the local sixth form college. The academy team soon built up a nationwide reputation by winning the National College Championship. In 2000 he joined Graham Taylor at Watford as the club's under-18 coach. As under-18 coach at Watford, Hockaday helped develop the careers of players such as Paul Robinson, Hammer Boza, Tommy Smith, Darren Ward, Ashley Young and Alassane Bangara. In 2005 he was promoted to first team coach and assisted the Hornets as the club won promotion to the Premier League in 2006. In January 2007, as Watford struggled to avoid relegation, he was sacked by manager Adrian Boothroyd and replaced by Mulkey Mackay as part of a backroom shake-up at the club, 
there were also rumors of complaints by a number of senior players about the team's style of play. In March 2007 he joined Martin Allen at Milton Keynes Dons until the end of the season, where the team reached the League Two playoffs. In May 2007, Martin Allen moved to Leicester City and on June 6 it was announced that Hockaday would be joining the Leicester City coaching staff. On June 19, 2007, it was announced that he would be joining Southampton as youth team coach replacing George's Prost. He was put on gardening leave by the club in January 2009 and was released from his contract in May of the same year. Hockaday again linked up with Martin Allen at his new club Cheltenham Town for a very short period on a non-contract basis however left the club when John Schofield was appointed as the club's assistant manager in March 2009. Managerial career, Forest Green Rovers In September 2009 Hockaday became the first team manager at Forest Green Rovers. The job was the first time he had been appointed to a managerial position. He led Forest Green Rovers to the third round of the FA Cup in his debut season as a manager after overcoming Bath City in the second round. Rovers were knocked out in the third round however by League Two outfit Notts County meaning Forest Green missed out on the chance to face Premier League opposition in the shape of Wigan Athletic. His first season as manager ended with relegation from the conference Premier. However, Forest Green were reinstated following Salisbury City's failure in their appeal against demotion from the conference for financial irregularities. Despite the team finishing in a relegation position and coming under fire from a number of the club's fans, Hockaday was offered a new one-year contract for the 2010 Euro 11 season. In his second season as Forest Green boss the team narrowly avoided relegation to the conference south the team lost their final day fixture a 2 Euro 1 loss away at Tamworth, but stayed in the league on goal difference. In his third season as Forest Green manager the club finished the season in 10th place. Hockaday's fourth season as manager of the club again ended with another 10th place finish in the conference premier despite reportedly having the largest transfer and wage budget in the division. In February 2013, Hockaday dismissed rumours linking him with the vacant managerial post at former club Swindon Town after the departure of Paolo Di Canio. After a disappointing start to the 2013-14 season, and after a run which saw Forest Green suffer seven defeats in eight games, Hockaday left the club by mutual consent on October 21, 2013. Leeds United, on June 19, 2014, Hockaday was appointed as head coach of Leeds United on a two-year contract. Junior Lewis was hired as Hockaday's assistant. The appointment was both a surprise and a massive disappointment to a large majority of Leeds United fans. Hockaday was widely ridiculed on social media and became known as the Hock, partly due to the pronouncements of a fake Twitter account set up in his name. His annual salary was reported as being in the range of a £80,000 to a £90,000, compared to the A £750,000 paid to his predecessor Brian McDermott. Hockaday took his team to Italy for a two-week training camp, and his first pre-season game as head coach resulted in a 16-0 victory against Italian amateur Minos FC Gerdiana. After the 16th goal had been scored, United's new goalkeeper Marco Silvestri was allowed to switch sides and play for the amateur team until the end of the game. A second match in Italy was planned but failed to take place because the opposition didn't show up. After returning to England, Leeds played several friendlies against lower league opposition, starting with a 2-0 win over local side Gwisley on July 19, with goals coming from Matt Smith and Jason Pearce. The final game of pre-season resulted in a creditable win over SPL side Dundee United at Elland Road. Hockaday referred to his team as a work in progress praised his players for putting a shift in, and said that they were improving with every game. However, Leeds lost their first game of the new season 2-0, away at Millwall on August 9. Hockaday's first and only league victory was against Middlesbrough at Elland Road on August 16, with new striker Billy Sharp scoring a late winner on his debut. Two more defeats followed, 2-0 against Brighton and 4-1 against Watford a game which Leeds finished with nine men. After the Watford game, Leeds United's owner Massimo Salino was reported to have made up his mind to sack Hockaday, but then had a change of heart, 
deciding to blame himself for the club's poor start to the season. But Hockaday's reprieve didn't last long. On August 27, 2014, Leeds were knocked out of the League Cup by League One side Bradford City. Leeds had to play most of the game with ten men after a red card was shown to Luke Murphy, who became the fourth Leeds player to be sent off in Hockaday's first six games in charge. On August 28, 2014, Hockaday and assistant junior Lewis were sacked by owner Massimo Salino, having been in the job for only 70 days. Career statistics, sourced from the English National Football Archive. Managerial statistics, as of match played August 27, 2014. Forest Green League managerial record confirmed by Sky Sports Yearbook, Honours, Swindon Town, Football League 4th Division Champions, 1985 a Euro 86, Football League 3rd Division Playoff winner, 1986 a Euro 87, Stoke City, Football League Division 2 Champions, 1992 a Euro 93, Shrewsbury Town, Football League Division 3 Champions, 1993 a Euro 94, References External links, Dave Hockaday is a self-confessed loner, teetotal and his last job was in non-league. But is he the man to rescue Leeds United? Hornets are stirred up by their academy, Dave Hockaday career stats at Soxabase.